So we've just finished the 16th annual uh, two-day climate and development day side event that IIED has been doing for the last 16 years here. Uh, I started it a long time ago, 16 years ago, initially as a one-day adaptation day event where we would bring together people working on adaptation. In those days, a very small number in a sea of thousands of people working on mitigation. So it was a means of just us getting to know each other. Uh, over the years, it's expanded. Uh, we had it every year. I think in Montreal, we made it into a two-day event and changed the name to Development and Climate Day so that we could bring in a broader uh, spectrum of development actors in. And the whole purpose was to bring together people working in development who come to the COP, again, very not very large numbers of them, but give them an opportunity to meet together and network and in terms of the ambiance of the event, make it a much more informal, uh, relaxed atmosphere, which is in contrast to the very formal negotiations uh, taking place uh, down the road in the same city. So it's in the middle weekend of a two-day COP, a two-week COP, uh, and it's deliberately made as a break from the COP. It's for people to come, relax, uh, meet others, uh, like-minded people, learn from each other, and most of all, have some fun together. And I think over the years, uh, we've developed a reputation. I know several people who come to COPS just for the Development and Climate Days event now, because that's where it's more interesting for them rather than just going to the COP and, and following the formal negotiations, which can be very boring and tedious unless you're a negotiator or a lawyer or very much steeped in the, the language of negotiations. And so, We've just finished uh, two days. Uh, I think we've had well over 300 people attending over the two days. Uh, not many people stay from beginning to end. People drop in to different sessions over the two days and it's designed like that for them to come drop in, meet people, uh, spend time in the breaks. We give a lot of space for people to just sit and talk to each other and, and uh, uh, have their own conversations in parallel uh, using this as a, as a networking uh, uh, place. I set up my office, I tell anybody who wants to meet me to just come to the Development Climate Days over Saturday, Sunday and come and see me because I'm going to be here and I've done at least a dozen interviews with people and talks over the last couple of days. So uh, I'm very pleased to report back that the 16th uh, Development and Climate Days went very well. Uh, we are now hoping to link the, the annual Development Climate Days at the COP more effectively with the annual community-based adaptation conferences that we also run. Uh, this year it was in Malawi, next year it will be in Addis. And over the next few years, we're going to make these into a much better linked series of events uh, than we've been able to do in the past. Uh, so uh, I look forward to your seeing the many, many products that will come out of this, including a very interesting cartoon that was done uh, for the full two days and, and videos and other uh, products that people will be able to see. Um, and look forward to anybody coming to COP25 uh, to come and uh, attend COP Development Climate Days, 17th Development Climate Days in COP25 next year. We're not quite sure where it will be, possibly Costa Rica or Chile. We'll find out soon.